Good morning, beautiful people. It's Tim Wild. It's a Friday Ascension update with me and my Robin friend who's just come over to say hi just as I sat down. Probably thinks I've got some bread. But yeah, I want to talk today about a subject which kind of it seesaws in the middle between kind of being very kind of spiritually orientated but also um, with the feet kind of firmly planted in the in the kind of the reality camp that we are experiencing at the moment particularly in the UK and um, I've spoken I've, I've spoken about it before I've touched on the subject before about how we are being challenged currently with uh, with the physical circumstances the transitions of the shift what the um, what the kind of the authorities are creating the basically the the stew of circumstances that are the catalyst for the shift that we are experiencing now a lot of you that are tuning into this might well be a attending the protest tomorrow in in London and there are supposed to be others going on around the world but and this this is where I kind of like start kind of tiptoeing into the reality camp slightly there is an increasing quantity of very draconian laws being rolled out in the UK at the moment and I'm sure like each each of the kind of the governments around the world they all they're all kind of singing from the same hymn sheet the the the, the agenda is not individualized it's very global but here in the UK we've got more and more kind of efforts to shut down the right for free speech for protest for all of the other things and from a spiritual perspective, from a higher perspective, this is being done for a very specific reason. On, on the surface, on the 3D level, it's being done to provoke people, okay? And on a 5D level, it is simply part of the, it is part of the ingredients that are being added to the ascension stew to wake people up and catalyze the shift. So how do we, as souls who are caught right up in the middle of this with the responsibility of guiding this shift through how do we respond to this and again it comes back to the theme that i've been working with particularly in the course of over the course of the last year of staying in a state of love of acceptance but and this is where the big but is a a state of uh, the only way to describe it would be uncooperativeness. Now, a lot of people are asking, how do we deal with this? How do we deal with these these kind of ever increasing kind of rules, stipulations, regulations, all of these things that are like being piled on top of the situation that we've already been, we are already experiencing because some of us are kind of gliding through this, we're staying above it, others are caught right in the storm. They're being whipped around, their personal circumstances are being changed, family and friends are kind of maybe falling apart, jobs are pressurised and it's a shift, okay? It's a massive shift from one state of consciousness into another bit. When you're caught up in the storm in the middle of it, it's um, the emotional responses to this are fight and flight. They are anger. They are right. I'll re respond with the traditional kind of right. I'm going to defend myself as much as possible. So what I'm, what the kind of the energy of the message today is, if you are being provoked to become angry, if you are being provoked to respond with you know even to the point where you be, it's it's um when you get say for the sake of example you get you get these gatherings you get protests and all of a sudden you are say kettled um provoked people are in the crowd that are actually trying to stir up trouble what they are looking for is an anger response they are looking to create the the, 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 they're looking to create riots and anger and people on the streets and you know chanting shouting pitchforks burning torches all of this 
It is absolutely imperative now more than ever to not respond in this manner. I'm not saying ignore this because it won't go away. You know, that is not where we are at the moment. But the key or the route through what we are experiencing in each country is to cease cooperating, but on a peaceful level. Now, you might have heard this kind of theme or this theory um, being rolled out before. But again, it's my way of describing it or my way of participating it is, is by simply not playing. OK, now, say for, if you've, you've heard me mentioning the 3D party invitations before, like you, the, the way this is on an energy level, you are continuously being invited to attend a 3D gathering. OK, that 3D gathering is filled with anger. It is filled with outrage. It's filled with indignance and and low frequency vibrations it's like say being in a bar or a pub and and you're peacefully having a drink or you're stood chatting with your friends and somebody comes over and they are constantly poking you in the shoulder they poke and they poke and they poke eventually they're going to provoke a response you're going to turn around and you're going to defend yourself or or and and it will descend from being a pleasant gathering or an interaction into into violence or whatever this at this particular moment in time and especially over the next six months we are going to be in the situation where we are the ones that are being poked in the shoulders continuously some of us are very much in the front line for this and others are stood back holding the energy from the outskirts but this say for this is the message for more of us who are kind of involved with the it, with, with the kind of the information of the conspiracy that's going on and you notice i am using a few keywords this morning and hopefully the algorithms won't pick it up but generally speaking you know what i'm talking about so this is it we have reached a a a point in our evolution and this ascension process at the moment where all of the training all of the the the, the, the spiritual initiations and the light raising and the work that we have done, we are going to be called to muster every fragment of this that we can possibly bring up through us and manifest into our phys physical reality to stay in a state of heart centeredness and peace. And this does not mean being a doormat, okay? There's a lot of people that say, well, if you're, if you're not shouting, if you're not protesting, if you're not angry, then, you, then, then, you're, then you're in a state of a dissolute, you're, you're, you're part of the illusion. But that's not, that, I don't believe that's the case. The way to change our society, the way that we are moving from A to B, with this heart-centered consciousness not the ego is by creating our reality at the highest frequency possible so we've got all of these party games to be you know we've got all of these little factors of the party to be invited to going on all around us they're absolutely everywhere coming through the media through the news through the people in the street when you enter the shops every single thing is is the red flag it's like yeah you, can't, you know come to our party the 3d party you will never have an opportunity or you will never have a bigger opportunity at this moment in time to practice your ability to remove yourself from energies and just continue to stay in your state of high vibration but okay do not cooperate or, or as much as humanly possible, cease cooperating with the things that are being requested that you know in the centre of your heart are incorrect, okay? Or wrong, morally or, or wrong on every level. So, so this is why this talk this morning is a little bit different because we've, we've now got the period between March, between now, and August, where the energies are being applied to this situation, so that the the vibe, every, imagine molecule, molecules of water being heated up, they vibrate, okay, and they continue to vibrate and until they boil. This is what is happening to everything on a 3D structural level around us: the light, the intensity, the energy, 
everything is being shaken. The molecules are moving faster and faster. People are becoming more reactive. More energy is being released into the collective. Fear, anger, dis you know, disillusionment. And, and all of these, all of this is a readily available and increasing pool that is being thrown into the collective so it can be alchemized particularly by the storm layer, by the dragons, by the ascended masters, by those of us that are conscious and aware and working towards the light on the ascension pathway. But we're, it's, it's um, the only way that I can describe it is almost this. This is the initiation of staying calm, you know, staying in heart centeredness. And I think if you look back to summer last year, I did a... I did a video, it was on loving disobedience or, or just basically heart conscious, heart conscious, heart centered consciousness whilst not cooperating with the, the things that you know are incorrect or wrong or just plain, plain daft in your society around us. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's on many levels, the way through what we are experiencing is civil disobedience on a mass level. Now, you won't probably hear me talking about this again on the level that I'm talking about it this morning, but I'm doing so, I'm addressing this morning because it is very important, particularly for those that are attending rallies, um, gatherings, protests. The opportunity to move into the battlefield state will be very present, okay? I saw one lovely post yesterday by a chap who was talking about taking daffodils to the battlefield. And, and I thought that was so beautiful because obviously anybody who's going into the centre of London tomorrow is going to be met by a wall of riot police who are there specifically to create a certain circumstance, a certain vibration. It's like, thou shalt not pass, you shall not pass. and and. We are, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to continue living our lives the way that we want to live, but doing it from a fifth dimensional frequency. If you work from the laws of one, grace, intention, manifestation, karma, responsibility, unconditional love, put them all together, you've got the law of one. Those are the, those are the rules that we will be living by in the future. Those are the principles of our society. And um, the, one of the... One of, the, one of the most outstanding kind of principle also lies in the, in the common law of the land now. And that is, you do no harm. You do not, you know, you don't steal from people. You don't do any harm. You use your common sense when you are engaging with others around you. And, and by those principles alone, we will be beginning to build the next phase of our societies as we move into the, this very much Atlantean blueprint. But all around us at this moment in time, the, 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 the cage is shaking, okay? And, and, and you know, say, say we're, we're in this kind of imaginary cage, a 3D cage, and the people are rattling the bars and provoking it and, and making everything as kind of as as difficult as possible to return you know as hard as possible to keep our cool but keeping our cool is exactly what we're going to do and like i say like this beautiful post that i read yesterday you know if you if you're walking onto a battlefield if you are presented with this battlefield you take a daffodil and you take the light of your heart and the second that you are engaged you are provoked in any way shape or form your heart is what comes forward this is this is the energy that neutralizes and alchemizes the provocation the anger the the entire kind of soup that is being poured or you know all the ingredients that are being poured in into this circumstance at the moment so this you know for this particularly, I've got one foot in 3D. I've got here, I've got one foot in 5D because this, we're, this is where we're balanced. We're going straight through the middle at the moment and veering off to the right as we create, as we create in this in the fifth dimensional frequencies. But we've got a practical job to do right now. The practical job is to hold the light at the highest frequency possible. Okay, so whatever again, say using the analogy of it's uh 
the, the the film Gladiator when when they're facing kind of one of the final battles and and he says whatever comes out of that gate you hold your ground you hold your lines you hold your light and in exactly the same way this is what we are being presented with at the moment the ingredients have changed the provocate the 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 circumstances that are being thrown at us are have are changing they are increasing so it's more important now more than ever to stay in that state of love and retain the vibration and there's also all of these kind of these distractions the distractions that are coming out of the media like i said before they're changing shape it's no longer kind of um it's no longer just kind of all based around the pandemic and the information around that and, and scaring people into into a state of submission what what's going on now is that other things are being rolled out like particularly in the united the united kingdom oh we have we've got to increase the surveillance we've got to increase the draconian measures and everything all we do is stay in a state of love okay we just continue being ourselves at the highest vibration possible leading by example but just not adding to this society that they wish to create we're creating our own now this is going to be difficult it is going to be challenging for a while don't get me wrong because we're going to we're constantly going to be pushed to to kind of dive into this 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 thing that they're creating or trying to create but ours is so much more powerful it is so much more stronger it's so much more solid the, the on a structural level energetically what they are attempting to create at a 3d level is very fragile it's incredibly fragile it's flimsy it's made from plywood and the only way that they're doing it is by keeping a group of people convinced that this is the way forward but these people are waking up now and this is what was this is what we've predicted all along this is what we've intended all along is when the majority when the collective wake up the game is over that flimsy plywood will just simply collapse but at the moment there is going to be an opportunity to use that training that you have that heart-centered consciousness that resolve that has been gifted to you over many many lifetimes of training of initiations of incarnations to now stand in your light in your highest form possible and move through this next six months with grace and ease you know although the challenges are in designed to be as difficult and as as provocative as possible it doesn't have to be if you're not responding to it if you're not playing the game if you're not involved with it on that level it's just simply a story that is evolving and being presented around you and that and and you just continue to look at it from the higher perspective so yeah that is my ascension slash practical update for today this is what we are going to be seeing and experiencing on a on kind of the real time tv screen now for a little while this um this constant call to be involved with the with to engage with rage and what we do we engage with love so i hope that makes sense to you and a lot of you will know what i'm talking about because you are you are witnessing this on the tv screen as we move through it but i'll be back on monday morning with a walking meditation tomorrow paul debris and carry paul debris and carry and i are hosting the atlantean ascension pool to celebrate the equinox spring equinox is here in the uk as you can hear the birds are singing mornings are lighter all the flowers are out it's absolutely beautiful i think the clocks go forward in the uk as well and um on monday david essery and i are presenting the beginning or the first of the series of our our our, our amazing archangel workshops so lots to do lots to look forward to lots of beautiful work to immerse immerse yourself in if you wish to join us sending you all lots of love bye for now